So about 22 to 32% for women is essential fat, the fat we need on and in our body to facilitate reproduction. The, the extra fat that we store on, over and above our essential fat is now our like storage fat, the extra stuff that goes on that we would like to lose. This is called subcutaneous fat. It's the pinchable, squishy stuff that, you know, hangs over your bra strap. It hangs over your pants. It's the fat that we really just hate. We just really hate this fat. And I want to just validate that um, you hate it because you were taught to hate it. You were taught as a modern human to hate this fat, but I'll tell you what, if you were a prehistoric human, you wouldn't be hating it at all. By the way, you are a prehistoric human, no, just so you know. Subcutaneous fat is, for all intents and purposes, not even that unhealthy. Your body wouldn't create a storage form of energy that's unhealthy. I would almost call it the healthy fat. Now, you can have too much of it where you don't like the way you look or feel. That stuff is metabolically deposited fat. For whatever reason, you sent a signal to your body that said, hey, store this away, store this away. You told your body to store it. Based on your diet lifestyle inputs, you told the body to put this into storage and it did. If you wanted to come out of storage, you just need to change the inputs. And this is what I work on with people. And there's a whole machinery involved in getting subcutaneous fat out of storage, traveling through the blood into the cells, burning as fuel. There's a machinery to it that is much more elegant and complex than just calories or macros or cardio. 